off, I hate it, we back. back. We going up to the max. Yeah. Ain't no one holding us back. Too locked up. We been off balance. Things get rough, but we love a challenge. Press on us, I'm covered in diamonds. Ain't no scrubs, little baby, you styling. Yeah. Too good. Break it down like you should. you should. Ain't no clue what we could. I'm gonna act like we was. Too fresh like lemonade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I feel better than yeah, yeah, yeah. She wanna be where it's shining. Yeah, I said it's all in the timing. You know that she wanna be where it's shining. On the coast, need the sun cause she rolls. We go out and do the most. She wanna be where it's shining. You know that she wanna be where it's shining On the coast, need the sun cause she rose We go out and do the most
What about this fear of the unknown? Here's a question that I think you might be thinking right now. What if this doesn't work? What if this is another thing that I start and can't finish? What if I put our family's finances into this and my time into this and I do something and it doesn't work? What if I tell my kids they can be anything, do anything, and I step out a little bit and I fall? What if it does work? What if that next video is the opportunity that you need? What if it's just one step in front of the other? What if it's one subscriber and five subscribers and 20 subscribers and 20,000 subscribers? What if it does work? What do you have to lose? No one gets to the top without going through the struggle. Struggle is part of the process. So fear of the unknown. Will this work? Can I do it? I want you to know you can't. You're in the right community. You've got all the right resources. You already have everything you need right now in this moment to succeed. You just have to lean in. You just have to say, I commit. You just have to be the one that says, no, I am getting back up when I fall down. I am stepping out in courage and in boldness and I'm gonna make this thing happen. I don't care if it takes me one week. I don't care if it takes me one month to get my next video out. I am committed to doing this process. I am committed to making this a thing. I'm committed to my dreams. Because if you don't do it, who else will? I will stand up. I will not fall. This is how you also might feel on YouTube, looking at the competition, looking at yourself and being like, my channel's small, my business is small, I feel like my skills are small. I just feel like, who am I to go up against the giants out there? Like, they got swords and spears and stuff. I got like a few small stones and I got a sling. Like, who am I to go do this thing? But I want to encourage you. There's something about the law of preparation. It was that if you're going to be ready to take down the giants in your future, you can't ignore the preparation in your present. It starts with just tweaking in some of your skills so that when the day comes where a giant is standing before you, you're like, listen, dude, I'm so good with these stones and this sling, I'm ready to take that thing down. Because I'm so serious about your success, I know that if you work the system, and that if you get clear, and that if you put in the work, and that if you then stay connected to a community that's gonna keep that fire lit, that you're gonna hit your targets on YouTube. One of the biggest things I see people do is overthinking, right? Like, you gotta just press record. You gotta punch fear in the face, punch perfectionism in the face, and press record. Take the whole city down with this. I take the whole city down with this. Wanna be down, wanna dash, wanna go fast, wanna be brave, wanna move like an assassin. Just to be frank, it's not for the faint of heart. And the only question left is where do we start? I take the whole city down with this. I take the whole city down with this. I'm a policy, swinging on a helicopter blade, eating fifth filet. When I'm done, I'll be on the way. I was sitting back, I could see the city in decay. I'm a stampede, running through the middle of your face. I'm a red cape, hit stance, I'ma save the day. At the midpoint, nice of you to come and drain the race. If it's victory, that's the only thing that I'ma taste. Watch the moon, river dance, and reflect the lake. Power is everything. The voice inside your head said that you can do anything. You start to feel the power building up in your ears ring. You feel the bravery and courage tugging your heartstrings. It's not over. You can see it. It's right there. It's getting closer. Your energy means enemies are getting colder. It's the night that we strike. Be like cobras. Take a minute to power up. Get it over. Wanna be down? Wanna dash? Wanna go fast? Wanna be brave? Wanna move like an assassin? Just to be frank, it's not for the faint of heart. And the only question left is where do we start? I take the whole city down with this. I take the whole city down with this. I take the whole city down with this. Five, four, I take three, the whole city two, down with this. One.
welcome, welcome back to Challenge Day 4. Sean Cannell here. I'm so fired up. Good to see you. I see you, Maria. I see you, Rena. I see you, Jen. Hey, shout me out where you're watching from. As a reminder, if you haven't been to StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook, that is how I can actually see your avatar. So I see you, Nick. I can see you ready for another aha moment. But if it just says Facebook user, that's because you haven't been to StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook just to approve it so that I can see you just like I can see Anne in California. And I see Los Angeles in the house. We got Italy in the house. Thank you so much for being here. East Texas. Zeke is in the house. Hey, yo, Andreas. Good to see you. Woodlands, Texas. Phoenix, Arizona. What's up, David? Really good to see you today. Um, listen, today's session is all about the influence method. This might be the most powerful session yet. I know there's been a lot of aha moments, but Heather Torres is going to be bringing the fire. We have a powerful quick tip today on how to make a YouTube thumbnail that will get people to click in less than two minutes. We're going to set a timer. It's going to actually be a challenge and real time, like a real mm -hmm. cooking show. We're going to cook up not a casserole but a thumbnail that gets clicks. And so we're going to be doing that in just a second. We have giveaways that are happening today as well. Um, and so I want to welcome Heather to the stream. And I'm curious, Heather Torres, what was one of your favorite things that's happened in the challenge so far? Just fixing my hair, Sean. You know, I should have done this like pre-prep, but here we are, guys. We are here. And I've got like these weird wispy things that are just coming out. So, Sean, why didn't you tell me my hair wasn't right this morning? It's, I never catch it. See, that's that's a problem on our whole team. Omar, Kyle, Sean, we never see it. You need Mel in the house to just like mention the wisps. We're like, I thought wisps were a good I thought, thing. I, I mean, thought I this was all normal, right? You just put a hat on, no makeup, nothing, Sean. This is not I've been hair, hat all okay? week. That's I'm just hat now, you know? That's, that's how we we're doing it. I love it. Okay. What was the question you were asking me? I got distracted. What by have hair. you loved so far? What's been one of your, Oh my goodness. Moments? What have I loved so far? Uh, I mean, I'm just kind of a broken record, but I just believe in people so much. And to, so to see people saying they're getting breakthrough breakthrough, um, they are, they're seeing this as a possibility. Um, you know, yesterday, Sean, in the VIP, we had some incredible aha moments that were mentioned. And, uh, and you know, one of them was like, I feel like when you said that, um, competition is just ahead space or something, you know, to that regard of just, there actually isn't competition. You are um, uniquely you creating your own thing. And it's just incredible to see uh, all of the different people who are getting breakthrough. Uh, we, we heard yesterday, uh, we heard someone said my aha moment was I can do this. I can do this. And it was incredible because uh, the, the gentleman that shared it, you know, he's a retired secret service agent. He's in day trading and he's like, I can do this. Like I can switch careers. I can make this happen. Um, we had a, another person say, um, don't be afraid to repeat yourself. And so the aha moments of just knowing that this is building people's confidence. This is helping people learn that, uh, that this doesn't have to be hard. We can keep it simple, right? We can make this simple and we can uh, crush our goals by doing one thing at a time. So uh, that that's just some of my takeaways already, Sean. It's just seeing the breakthrough that people are having inside of this free challenge. Man, I love it. And I'm also excited because we have Melissa Caputo, who's about to give some more stuff away. But Mel, I'm curious, what have you loved from the challenge over the last couple of days? Yeah, Sean, I just need to highlight a couple of comments as well. I have um, these, these comments are some of my favorite, sorry. <laughs> and so uh, I have Melissa Smith saying, I'm up to 27 subscribers thanks to this challenge just started. So I know that it's not a lot, but we are growing. Melissa, that is a lot. That is a lot of progress just from this last few days since you joined this challenge. That's incredible. And we celebrate every win, whether it's one subscriber or your next thousand subscribers or a hundred thousand. We celebrate every one of those wins because each of them is important and significant. So thank you so much for sharing that, Melissa. We also have a Jessica saying, uh, my first video from this challenge is up. She's so excited and we are so excited for you. Elizabeth saying, I've made six shorts and one 20 minute video because of the inspiration motivation. So that is incredible way to pump out the content, Elizabeth. And Jam Jam saying the Think Team has helped me get to 20, 12K views, the most I've ever gotten. So just a few of the really cool stories that we've been hearing so far in this challenge. And um, it's always so encouraging and uplifting to us to get to hear more stories like this. So drop them in the comments. This is what keeps our team going through long nights. <laughs> our customer service team, marketing team, everyone is 
is working really hard to put this um, challenge on for this week. And we just love hearing these stories because that's what we are all about is this transformation that you guys are experiencing. So that has been my favorite thing so far and what my takeaway from yesterday was, Sean. Man, I love it, Mel. And thank you so much for sharing those. Friends, if you haven't hit the like button here in the group or the heart button um, or dropped a comment and shouted out where you're from, that's a great time to do it. We're about to get into our quick tip and it helps even people who've joined the challenge get that notification so they can be here for this session because this is one to really prepare for. But before we get into it, Heather has a few quick announcements that you're going to want to know. Take it away, Heather. Yes, the first one is uh, that you still have the opportunity to enter in to win this tech. You can uh, enter in to win the camera, the lighting, the microphone, the entire YouTube setup uh, that can upgrade your current setup uh, right now if you go to winthistech.com. I saw people that were shouting it out in the chat when the countdown timer was on saying, hey, did you enter in to win today? Um, and so just a remind reminder that you have a daily entries into this uh, tech giveaway. Now, of course, you're winning things here with Melissa, which is amazing, but we want to also give you the opportunity to win this tech uh, and send that right to your house right before the holidays. I mean, how cool would that be, right? I want to get tech like this right before the holidays. It sounds great. So uh, you can go to winthistech.com, daily entries to win, um, and we have so many prizes we're still giving out. Wanted to let you know that uh, here inside of the challenge, as much fun as we are having, as much community as we are building, as much love as we are sharing this too shall end this is a free challenge and uh and really you're learning some of the insights that we teach inside of our video ranking academy which is our premier online program i'll tell you a little bit about in just a second but that is actually where we spend the majority of our time with our community is with our customers. And so if you have been enjoying this challenge and maybe you missed a, a session because of work or the kids or or life in general, um, you do have access to the replays until October 31st. Now, if you're a part of our VIP, you can have uh, additional access, but this will close down, will end, uh, and, uh, and we move into um, helping those who have joined our YouTube bundle uh, so that we can give them the most time and energy possible. So the replays here will come down October 31st. So make sure you get all of the sessions. Did you watch last night's session? Did you know that there was a session? There was two sessions yesterday. Uh, you want to make sure that you get all of those um, before the challenge ends. And wanted to also let you know that uh, we do have a deadline for our Video Ranking Academy package and all of the bundles that Sean, I'm sorry, and all the bonuses that Sean mentioned yesterday. If you missed this current offer, you can go to Learn Video 2020. 23.com. And that's where you can actually see how you can actually save thousands of dollars off of our premier program uh, that we have helped tens of thousands of people go through that helps them uh, learn how to do YouTube the right way. Keep it simple and get you all the things you need in the right order so that you can crush it on YouTube this year and beyond. Uh, you get access to Video Ranking Academy and all of those additional bonuses like our camera confidence course, uh, where we're teaching over a decade of on-camera experience and pros and uh, hacks that the pros don't teach you, you're going to get access to the YouTube niche finder. So if you're trying to figure out your thing still, like what niche should I be in? Who should I be serving? This is a great uh, program you get for free. It's $600 value you get for free and so much more. We've got two incredible workshop tickets that you get um, access to uh, that we don't sell anywhere else at this current moment. And so you would get access to that all at Learn Video 2023. And we have a pay in full bonus not listed on here that if you decide to join us and you decide to pay in full today, you will get access to that limited time bonus. Um, but this offer is going away. Uh, this is not an offer that we keep public. This is an offer just for you here inside of the challenge. So you want to make sure that if that is right for you, if you're raising your hand and you're saying, Heather, I think I need more help. I think I really want to do this YouTube thing. I think I want to be in a community of awesome rock star YouTube content creators. Then you need to be inside of our video ranking Academy, as well as getting all these bonuses along with it. And I want to welcome, uh, we had some people join the fam yesterday. We actually had a, a lot of people join the fam yesterday. So if you're trying to get into that Facebook group, our team is there helping and supporting. Thank you, Tony, for just joining. We've got Teresa that came in. Brandy Miller says got the bundle and I am so excited. Um, 
Uh, we've also got uh, Brad. Brad and Brad joined. I love what he said. I've been wanting to do this for a few months and it's time. Hey, if you feel like Brad, it's time for you to step up and come inside of the Video Ranking Academy. Can't wait to start working with you and the whole Think Media team. And I love how Brad said that. Because honestly, guys, this isn't just a, a Sean show. This is a Think Media team that is staffed around Video Ranking Academy to help you reach your goals. So one, I love that he said the whole Think Media team because it is a team of incredible uh, entrepreneurs and incredible people who are behind you helping you win. Uh, Ricky says, I'm in. Signed up after the last session. And then we've also got uh, uh, Olya said, joined. What I needed is a sense of community as well as educational materials because I am on my own island on this journey, excited to travel this path with others. And man, isn't that just the truth of how it can feel when you're stepping out, doing something brand new, you're trying to figure out this whole thing. You're weird to your family and your friends because you're like, I want to be a content creator. And they're like, that doesn't make sense. That's not a real job. And you're like, it really is. Look at all these people. And when you're in a community of people that just get you, friend, be in this community. If you want people to understand you, we are here to understand you. So wanted to let you know that we have that available for you. And then uh, lastly, we're going to jump into the session, but Mel has some great giveaways and I think I'm passing it to Mel. Yes, you are. I am ready to announce today's giveaways. And so um, while I'm explaining them, I'm going to give you guys a chance to start putting in your answers to this question. And this is how you're going to enter these giveaways. So I'm just going to give this to you right up front. This is the question to answer today. What is your next video? Tell me in the comments. Um, we want you guys to be taking everything we're learning and actually applying it. So I know we've come up with a lot of ideas. The daily challenges are hopefully helping you uh, take some action on what we're learning. But we want you to say it right now in the comments. What is your next video? And bonus points if you tell us when you're filming it. So start putting that into the chat right now. I'm actually going to be picking two winners today. And so first, we are going to be giving away 12 months free of our vidIQ Boost plan. So this plan, um, we use vidIQ here at Think Media. It is um, a part of our daily routine for posting our videos. So we highly recommend vidIQ. And they're actually one of the sponsors of this challenge. So we're um, really grateful to them that they've given us some Boost plans that we can give to you guys. And so Boost is one of their higher level plans that has a lot of cool features in it, some of which are their daily idea, idea tools, their keyword tools. You can check out your competitors and see how they're doing and what kind of videos they're making, your channel audit tool. So a bunch of really cool things um, that you can get inside of vidIQ. It's just a host of features that are all designed to cater to YouTubers and to make your life easier. So um, really encourage you guys to check it out. If you want to check it out, even if you don't win, you can head to vidIQ.com forward slash think. And we have um, just a $1 trial for Boost. So you can just pay $1 for the first month of your um, plan and then check it out and see if it's something that you're interested in. So you can head to vidIQ.com forward slash think if you don't win today and enter to win or sorry, and start your $1 trial. Um, then I'm also going to give away a pocket deity. Okay. Deity pocket wireless microphone kit. So this is just a, a cool wireless kit that we've been really enjoying here at Thinkopedia. It is worth over $200. Um, so really highly valuable kit for somebody to get today. And it'll help you with your audio, whether you're filming um, interviews with another person, you're doing walk around, maybe you're somebody who does vlogging videos, or if you're just sitting in front of a camera, you can use this as well. So very cool. And if you want to enter to win either of these things, put in the, the comments right now, what is your next video? Tell me in the comments. And with that, I'm going to let Sean give his tip for today. Thank you, Mel, and buckle your seatbelts for today's tip. And uh, if you're ready, type yes in the comments. I actually, what's pretty wild, friends, is this week, um, I've been getting a bunch of different messages. I got a DM from Larry, uh, from Pace. Ryan just sent a message to our team, and uh, Heather's going to be bringing that up. But I just want to share some of the VRA students. This is all kind of happening this week. They're right on the verge of 100,000 subscribers. So this is Larry. You've you heard about him earlier, but one of your questions might be, is he still growing? He is. So he's almost to that 100K. This is Jennifer. She's 4,000 away from the 100K. Uh, remember, she's doing some affiliate marketing stuff and 
come some of her videos were this brother embroidery machine and easy baby gifts. Um, Pace Morby's doing real estate stuff. He just hit 100K. They'll sign him that silver play button. And then Ryan Johnson's at 99,000 subscribers. These are all Video Raking Academy students. And I just want to remind you, you know, if you're serious about YouTube, I want to invite you to join us inside of Video Ranking Academy. It is a program for people that are serious, people that are future minded, that are ready to, that are motivated, that want to build an online business, build passive income streams, make a difference with their message, make a difference with their content. And I wanted to shout out some of those individuals. But one of the keys to growing your YouTube channel is having great thumbnails. Before anybody can get to the content inside of your video, they have to ultimately click on your video. So could we make though a clickable, awesome thumbnail in less than two minutes? We're gonna do it right now. Siri, set a two minute timer. Two minutes, counting down. All right, here we go. So what I recommend is go to canva.com. And when you sign up for a free account on Canva, you can open up different uh, thumbnails and you could start posting content inside um, posting your photos, creating thumbnails quickly. Now you don't have to be inside of your thumbnails, but here's one of the big tips when it comes to thumbnails. If you can do a photo shoot of some kind, now you don't need a fancy camera, but if you have a fancy camera, um, or somebody that, you know, then that can really help you so that you have photos on demand for your thumbnails. And so I'm going to, uh, there, I, there I am. If I had to do it again, we're almost done. Um, I don't know. What's this video about? Tell me in the comments. Like YouTube tips. Great. Uh, and uh, and we're good. You know, is that the best thumbnail in the world? Maybe not. And let me, let me go deeper. So that took one minute. And, and uh, obviously, there's a lot of things we could do to it. But let's go back to the drawing board and start from the top. So we got a thumbnail done in about a minute. What if I don't have a fancy camera, though? So here's what you do. You go to Canva.com. Go to YouTube thumbnails. Let's say that you were interviewing somebody and you had a podcast and all you did, um, whether it's a video podcast, a YouTube video, all you did was uh, take a photo with that individual that you shot a video with. I was in Miami recently hanging out with my friend Ravi and uh, Ravi uh, and I took a photo. I think Nolan shot it on my phone. And ultimately all we did was we're on his porch. He's a pretty nice porch that you'll see here in a second um who know there it is here it comes there we go all right so let's delete this guy out of here nine seconds left and um here we go see if we can just put that in there and then you know one of the things that you definitely want to do oh we're done so is uh is crop in if you can right you want to crop in you don't need a lot of body the more face is a good is a good thing to have in fact, let me show you a little a little Hackintosh thing here. This is the way I'm going to do it on a PC is I'm going to take my photo on my PC here because really here's a thumbnail tip is you actually kind of want to be like more in here. You don't need a lot of body. You want to, you want face, you want eye contact. I'm going to grab it right here. This is called the snipping tool on a PC. If I just say copy, let me see if I can paste this in here. Can I? There it is. So that, that's going to crop it a little bit better for me then. And I'm going to put that right in there. Okay, great. So then I'm going to say, uh, 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 he, he helps people with systems. Um, business systems. The text on the interview, that that on the uh, thumbnail is not the best, but you get the idea. And friends, we're, we're done. Simple is good to do in your thumbnails. It's pretty simple. But I'm going to give you one more. And obviously, we want to maybe put that there. Nice and red, pops out well. And, uh, and then all you do is you go up here to share. You can say download, put it in PNG. I like to actually scale this up to uh, 1920 by 1080. Now, we will drop a link to Canva. There is a free version. And you can, you can make a lot of great thumbnails with the free version. But I would recommend um, it's it's a worthwhile investment because you can make channel covers really easy. You can make, um, you know, thumbnails really easy, uh, your avatar really easy. But the final thing is like, what if what if you had like a gardening channel? And also, if you didn't want to be in your thumbnail, 
going to give you one other resource. It's called unsplash.com. Unsplash.com. You can get royalty-free photos. Now, some of these are going to say Unsplash Plus. That costs money. But all of these, um, the majority of these are free. And so if you were maybe doing a tips about tips about a rose garden or something, I'm again going to kind of, I don't necessarily need to do that. What I'm going to do is right click on this. I'm going to copy this, come back over here. And I'm going to go YouTube thumbnail garden, kind of get the vibe, see what they have here. And um, I like this Zen waterfall here. This is nice. Now, this, is all, this also shows you that maybe you're already good to go. Like, like. This is a niche in and of itself, like just relaxing music. You get a lot of watch time if you were to do music. But see, I copy pasted this right off of Unsplash, this free photo. And um, I'm going to talk about Rose Garden tips, right? Now, some of this stuff could, uh, could definitely use. This is hard to read on there, right? So we could maybe make this a little bit bigger. Uh, put kind of a a, uh, a background behind this. What I like to do is over here on the left side of the screen, I might grab an element and throw a, a shape behind here so that you can definitely see that that's going to help that rose garden pop just by doing that. And you want the text to be re readable. And remember, thumbnails are so small. So if you want, we just kind of scale this up. And uh, rose garden, we can make tips bigger. And there we go. We've done like three thumbnails in four minutes, and I was scrambling all over the place. Don't overthink uh, the fact of, uh, let me give you one more, and I want to encourage you to just use your smartphone. And don't over, and when possible, one of the things we love to do is take photos when you get, when you get your uh, shirt on, hopefully you're wearing a shirt, when you get your, um, you know, your makeup on, your makeup did, whatever you want to do. Take some photos on your smartphone. In fact, I've got one for you here that uh, obviously was taken by a professional. It's uh, just loading as my iPhone converts here and you're about to see it. And I'm excited because uh, there it is. That's that's the, this is the greatest, um, this is all you need to do. If you're, if you're your own photographer, there we go. And this, the funny thing, right, is this might be like um, blue light blocking glasses review, right? So like blue blockers, which is what you should wear if you're about to go to bed so that the the light from your screen, my friend Brand Azadi gave me these. Um, and uh, there you go again, just using a smartphone. I think with that little weird thing, I could say bring to the back, bring forward, bring this forward. Anyways, uh, we want to get to Heather's session. So you could see that using Canva, you can make um, these thumbnails very quick. Let me know if you had an aha moment. Um, and uh, with that, uh, we're going to announce the giveaway winner. So let's drum roll it up. Ooh. Here we go, Mel. All right. Um, put your drum roll emojis in the chat. Um, once I see those, I will be able to actually announce our winners. So put those drum roll emojis in the chat. And I'm going to announce first our vidIQ 12 month boost, 12 month boost plan winner. And here we go. Whoa, I just saw a ton of drum roll emojis all happening at the same time. Perfect. We are good to go. Um, drum roll, please. Sean and Heather. Our winner of the 12 months of the boost plan is Dan Andrews. Congratulations, Dan. Dan's next video is going to be his weekly live stream. Um, and going to one of my super fans work on after Thursday night football tonight. Awesome. All right. And then I'm also going to be giving away the deity mic kit. And uh, Heather, it looks like you're on for the drum roll for this one. So. Can I get oh, that? I'm drum ready, Mel. Drum roll. <laughs> Perfect. The winner of the Deity Mic Kit is Shiana. Shiana, congratulations. Um, her next video is going to be Don't Try This with Instacart. So uh, I'm I'm curious. What what are we not supposed to try with Ooh, Instacart? I want to know. That's a good title. <laughs> uh, awesome. So glad to have you guys in the challenge with us. And Sean is still drum rolling you because that is oh. <laughs> I wanted it to be like maybe the the you know the camera looped or something. Like I got into like a loop and I wasn't actually <laughs> I don't just know. don't even say anything. Uh, <laughs> well, all you need to do in order to <laughs> claim your prizes is head to 
thinkmediasupport.com. And um, there's a little drop down menu. Let our team know that you won a prize and we'll <laughs> going to be uh, sending those out to you. Yes, Sean, Sean might have had coffee today. He's also might just be really excited to be hanging out with all of you guys. Believe it or not, I actually am truly convinced that is the answer. <laughs> He's just very excited for challenge today. Um, and I am also very excited because we have an amazing session coming up with Heather Torres. So I think it's time to get into that. Awesome. Wow. I am really excited for uh, this challenge as well. I have my coffee, I have my water, I have my collagen. I had all the things already today. So i um, excited to get into today's session. If you're fired up, let me know in the chat right now who has been here all four days. Like I need to know who are my ride or die, who are my show up for the show, be here for all the things type of person, because you and me, we are besties. So let me know if you have been here um, for the whole time. I'm going to be choosing two people uh, to win a copy of YouTube secret second edition. I'm, I want to give away two. Mel always gets to steal the thunder and be the giveaway person, but I'm going to give away to, let's see, Amanda right here for four baby. Amanda, you just won a copy of YouTube secrets. Randy, you just caught, you just won a copy of YouTube secrets second edition. Oh, and Robert actually has been here for all five sessions. So thank you for the clarity, Robert. You now won a copy of YouTube Secrets Second Edition. So I uh, wanted to say thanks so much for being here. Ride or die, you're my favorite. Hey, we're going to jump into uh, what's called the influence method today. And inside of Video Ranking Academy, we teach 16 different content formats that you could be doing. I'm going to cover two of them today. We've actually covered three other ones over the last three days. And when you join Video Ranking Academy, you'll get access to all 16 of those. But we're going to cover these two uh, that are going to be part of today. And in today's session, you're going to learn how to use the influence method to trigger exponential growth. I'm excited for you to learn about this part. The secret to standing out in a crowded niche. That's it's going to happen for you and the 13 different ways to earn uh um money on youtube and actually i put that on there but i might have deleted it because i got so excited to share two uh, uh really great case studies so just delete that part it's fine but hey i want to get started real quick and tell you about my friend jeff and we're going to talk about the influencer method today and uh our friend jeff um he actually He's actually the reason we're all here. Like, can we just give it up for Jeff? Because uh, Jeff was the person that handed Sean his first camera in youth ministry and was like, hey, go start making videos uh, around the youth ministry. So if you've not yet said thank you to Jeff Moores, um, thank you, Jeff Moores, because this he's making all of this possible. But Jeff Moores, um, while he is an extraordinary uh, husband and father and a, and a world-class uh, communicator and a phenomenal pastor, uh, Jeff's also the coolest guy I know because even in his 40s, he is a surfer. I don't know. Do you have friends like this that are like just cool? Like they're just cool for being cool. This is literally how I feel about Jeff Moores. And here he is in the middle. Jeff Moore's uh, actually taught our family how to surf. Now, this isn't me. I wish it was. I wish I still looked like I was 10. But this is my daughter, Kaylee, who jumped on a surfboard and was able to literally uh, ride the wave like the first time. I mean, and she's even like cool enough that she's dabbing. Do you see this? I'm, I, I couldn't even get up on the board. But Kaylee, my daughter, was able to ride every single wave that she caught. And man, I just isn't that encouraging to just know that kids have talents like this? But how does this apply to what we're talking about today? Well, one of the things that Jeff taught us was you got to like look at the waves coming. And so Jeff would sit out on the board and he's and he's with me and he's sitting out there and I'd be like, let's get on this one. He's like, nope, not that one. Like we got to ride the wave. We got to figure out the right wave that's coming. And this is what it's going to be like when we're talking about trend and influence surfing today because you've got to understand that there are waves of influence that come and there are waves of trends that come and you've got to understand how to see the waves as they are coming okay you got to see the waves as they are coming because once you figure out how to ride the wave you can actually figure out how to skyrocket your channel. I'm going to share with you some success students who have been able to do this over the last couple of years. And it's been incredible to see the impact they're having by riding the wave of trends that everyone's talking about and influence that other people have. So 
first we're going to get into trend surfing. First, we're going to start with trend surfing, write this one out. And I want to tell you about Erica Kohlberg. Now you might know Erica um, because she literally is probably the most popular person on TikTok right now. If you want to figure out how to get free Nike shoes, get your airline tickets refunded, how to trade in your Lululemon uh, leggings. And she's helping so many people. Let me know if you've seen Erica on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Um, she really is taking over the interwebs with her free content. And here's what Erica did um, when she came into the space of YouTube. You know, she wasn't really sure what she wanted to talk about, but she had a passion for helping people get out of debt. She became a lawyer and she got herself into $200,000 of school loan debt. And she wanted to figure out how to pay that off. So she did that. And then she started having people ask her how she did it. And what's crazy is that she decided to just pick up her camera and start teaching people how she was able to get out of her student loan debt as a lawyer. Now, Behind the scenes, Erica was actually pretty dissatisfied with the career path that she had. You know, she she had decided that she wanted to go down this road, but really she was passionate about having time freedom, having a location freedom, and she was stuck in a job that honestly she hated. I don't know if you can relate to that, but I can tell you, friend, that by understanding the power of trend surfing, influence surfing, and YouTube as a whole you can get out of a situation that you might not be satisfied in as well. And so here's what Erica did. Erica started making videos that were trending on topic as a lawyer around the stimulus checks. Remember when that whole thing happened? I know it's still a little fresh for some people, but when that happened, Erica started making these uh, videos. She just sat down, pressed record, and just started talking about what were the stimulus checks? Um, it, it was this the right thing to do. She was explaining what it looked like to get those checks and what you could do with those checks. And what happened, because she rode the trend that was currently happening, everyone was talking about it, and she applied her expertise to that conversation, trend surfing, she was able to exponentially grow her channel. Now, did she do anything fancy? No. She sat in front of a camera and just explained something that was trending in conversation. People wanted to know about this. And, and here's what's great about trend surfing. When it comes to trend surfing, it's understanding the right topic, the right time, the right title, the right thumbnail, and the right content. Trend surfing is all about the interaction of these five things. And I, I want to ask you, What's a trend that people are talking about in your space? You know, I, I think it's so incredibly fascinating that as we've been able to coach hundreds of different types of content creators, we've been able to pinpoint trends that are happening in every niche. Why? Because there's always something to talk about. <laughs> like there's always something new to talk about. And I think it's incredible that when you can actually start to get your spidey senses, you know what those are, right? Your spidey senses. Those are like when you're walking through the, the store like Sean did, Sean was, he was going to the grocery store and he saw these like Christmas lights. I mean, I do you remember when these like sparkly Christmas lights, I should have, should have grabbed a photo for you. Um, but these sparkly Christmas lights and she was like, huh, Christmas lights at the grocery store. Is this a trend? Right. And he, all his spidey senses went off and he made a video and he's made thousands of dollars from Christmas lights. He's not an expert in Christmas lights. He just reviewed them online. Why? Because he knew it was a trend that was starting to happen. Erica, the same thing. She was like, huh, everyone in the country is worried or asking questions about stimulus checks and no one's reading the fine print. I read the fine print. That's what Erica does. She reads the fine print as a lawyer. So I want to ask you, what are some trends that could be happening in your niche. I love that Jen said this trend in my niche. When's the real estate market going to crash? That's a pretty big trend happening right now, right? I mean, if you think about kind of what are the big trends happening right now, look at this nursing trends, shortage of staff. That's a trend. You could be bringing your expertise to that. Here's a huge trend, urban gardening. Yes, that is a big trend that's starting to happen. Like how do I grow tomatoes it on my porch, right? Those are trends that are happening in your niche. So it's really important to know that as you are starting to get your spidey senses to start to see these things happening, you could be jumping on those trends and talking about them right away. And you want the intersection of these things, the right topic, the right time, the right title, the right thumbnail, and the right content. And I did this as well when all of a sudden, 
every child in America was now homeschooled. You remember when that happened? Well, I have a homeschool channel. So all of a sudden, my video of how to start homeschooling just went through the roof. Why? Well, because everyone was starting to homeschool and had no clue how to do it. So they were going to YouTube because remember, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. And you could be bringing your expertise into the conversation and taking your knowledge and putting it together. That's what... Uh, uh, this is another one of our students, um, and uh, Vitaly is an attorney. And remember when those EIDL loans were being distributed, right? Those were the loans that were happening for small businesses. Well, he was like, "Hey guys, let me make some some uh, um, some videos about this." And all he does is attorney reacts to, attorney explains videos. Guys, two hundred and thirty five thousand views on those videos. This helps his channel grow. Why? Because he's bringing his expertise and knowledge to the conversation. Now, this is what Sean did as well during a trend of a new camera that came out, the Sony ZV-1. Now, here's the thing. We were excited about doing uh, this, this video, but we wanted to take our own angle on it. How can you be different when talking about the trend? We could have been just like all of our other competitors and said, the Sony camera is the best vlogging camera. This, this camera is awesome because that's what a lot of people like to do. They want to sell the thing that they're doing, but we want to give honest reviews. And so we said, it, it's not actually, it's the hint. It's not this camera for the best vlogging camera. We've tested a lot of them. Now this has a lot of great features to it, but it's not the best for vlogging. That video at the time of taking this a screenshot was over 300,000 views. How can you bring a polarizing point of view to the trend that you have? Now, here's uh, here's another one. This is Jordan. Jordan's actually on our team here. And what I love so much about the Think Media team is that we're also all creatives. And most of us have our own channels as well, where we're applying these different principles and these 16 different formats to our own channels. And Jordan has a charcuterie channel. It's all, it's called Amazing Grays and it's an incredible channel all about charcuterie. Now one, charcuterie in general is a crazy trend, right? Like all of a sudden, um, I, I saw a, uh, a comedian that said, um, charcuterie is just 90s kids uh, uh, Lunchables but we now have money. We can make them fancy, right? Like that's it. And, and that is in itself a brand new, beautiful piece of art that she's able to make with food. But she understood that when the pandemic happened, well, people didn't want to share food, right? There was kind of this thing about like being six feet away and not wanting to share and all those things. And so she decided to make actual videos about single serving charcuterie. Now, who would have thought that these types of videos would be getting tens of thousands of views? But Jordan understood the power of seeing a trend and jumping on that trend and applying it to her actual niche. Same thing happened for Donnie, another one of our success students in Video Ranking Academy. And Donnie was a, uh, he is a volleyball coach. He coaches um, semi-professional and college level uh, co collegiate um, athletes in volleyball. Now, what happened during the pandemic for him as well was all of a sudden he wasn't able to coach people in person. But there was this trend starting to happen with a volleyball anime series. Okay, I'm going down a rabbit hole here, but but follow me. A trend started to happen with volleyball anime series. And he started having a lot of his different clients asking him his opinion inside conversations about this volleyball anime series. Now he was like, I don't know. I've never seen it. I don't really know what it is, but he was locked at home and decided, I think I'm just going to react to volleyball anime series as a volleyball coach. Guys, these videos have hundreds of thousands of views. Why? Because he understood that there was a trend happening in his space. In the volleyball space, there was a new anime series. And he decided to actually start to create content around this. And here's what's incredible, is that because he was doing these videos, his YouTube ads increased and he was able to supplement his income by reacting to volleyball anime series. Are you seeing the power of what you can do and how deep this can go when you think about trends in your space? Same thing happens with Sean Chandler. Sean uh, Cannell talked about him yesterday um, and that his entire 
career now is review reviewing movies. Like how cool is that? If you're a movie person and you're like, honey, got to go to work. You have to go into your office and watch movies and react to them. That's what Sean Chandler has created for himself. And he rides the trends like crazy. That's like basically the, the format he chooses to use on a lot of his videos. Why? Because these movies are trending and he's reacting to them. He's, he's, um, he's, uh, um, He's ranking them. He's talking about them. He's giving insight into them. And he's created an entire business around trends when it comes to movies. Now, again, you might be thinking, well, Heather, I don't, this isn't what I'm doing. Like I'm a teacher or Heather, this isn't what I'm doing. I'm in entertainment or Heather, that's not me. I'm in gardening. Friend, there is a trend in your niche. I'm not saying you need to create an entire react channel. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is that you should be delivering content that serves your audience. And if there is a housing crisis happening and you're a real estate agent, a broker in finance, you should be talking about it. Why? Because your opinion matters too. Your perspective matters too. You joining a conversation matters because it helps the people that are following you, your subscribers, your viewers, it helps them see that one, you're on top of what's happening. That's a big deal when someone's going to trust someone with their money and their finances that they know what they're talking about, right? That's number one. But number two, you getting comfortable with creating a little bit of controversy, you getting comfortable with being a polarizing person in grace and in love and in respect for whatever you're bringing to the conversation is a good thing. Because you are trying to establish your brand. You're trying to help people understand what you have to sell. So with that, I want you to know that this is all possible. No matter if you are, it doesn't matter if you are in a space where it's only trending topics, or if you're just able to talk about trending topics at the time. So here is another example. Um, All of a sudden, everyone was starting to use Zoom. Dang, do I wish I would have actually bought stock in Zoom prior to the pandemic. Yes, come on. Don't you wish you would? Now everyone knows what Zoom is. And we at Think Media, uh, we knew that people were going to be on Zoom a lot, but here's what was happening. People looked crappy on Zoom. No one knew how to make Zoom look great, right? That wasn't their specialty. And all of a sudden you're forced to be on camera all the time because that's where you're having your meetings. And so Omar decided to make a video of how to use your smartphone as a webcam for free. He rode the trend that was happening in the world and applied it to our business. And by doing that, this video alone has over a million subscribe or over a million views and has been one of the trendiest videos on our channel, bringing people to us to understand that we are your go-to people when it comes to understanding how to look good on camera. So this is the power of what that can look like. And this one video when taking the screenshot made $4,000 riding a trend that anyone could have done. Anyone could have made this video. Omar decided to jump on it right away, make the video, share his perspective, share his vision for how to look good on camera. And it made $4,000. What could you do with an extra $4,000 from one video? This is happening all the time, friends. This is happening all the time. Now you might be wondering, okay, well, how do I like find trends, Heather? How do I know what it is? Well, I just went over to a website called Google Trend. This is all simple, friend, Google trend. And I typed in my word, homeschooling. And wouldn't you know that all of a sudden the spike on homeschooling happened right around March of 2020, (laughs) right? The spike of that. So I could get an alert set up from Google trend with that keyword. So that when people start actually, um, when people start actually searching for your keywords, maybe then you can see that a trend is happening. And I could actually be making a ton of content. Why? Because this is also just trending in seasons. This is trending in seasons, right? So a lot of times for me in the homeschooling space, uh, um, seasonal when people, when kids are leaving school, so at the end of the school year. So during the summer is where I get a lot of volume because that's where a lot of times parents are making the decision. Do we go back to school? Are we homeschooling? Are we homeschooling? Are we going back to school? What does that look like? That summertime really gives a lot. And there's a lot of back to school searches that are happening as well. So seasonality, there is a trend that is happening. What seasonal things are happening in your space as well? You know, here at Think Media, we're heading into tech season. Why? 
because this is when people are buying things online. This is when we're going to do our reviews. This is when we're going to put out videos. And guess what? We're not putting them out December 25th. We're putting them out all of November. Why? Because people will then search them and buy things in December. So what are your seasonal trends that could be happening in your space, in your niche, so that you're able to start off the year right? Yes, that's right. Black Friday, huge for us, right? I love this. My aha trends, the Google trends. So type in your keywords and figure out what your trending season is. That was, uh, let me give you this. This is where I went. This is a uh, googletrends.com. And um, Google's amazing. They will find all of the things for you. And it's amazing. So your question is, what relevant trends, news headlines, and top of mind topics are related to your business and industry? And another place that I find this uh, is I'm a part of, I think, seven different Facebook groups, seven different homeschooling Facebook groups. I'm a part of every YouTube Facebook group that's popular as well, because you'll start to see trends happening in those spaces. You'll start to see questions coming up. You'll start to see, wow, someone asked this question and there's a lot of controversy or there's a lot of comments about this. And you know, when you're deep into your actual space, you'll start to see the trends emerging. So let me know in the comments right now, if you're watching live, what is a trend that you could actually make a video on this week? You don't have to, I just want to know what is a trend that you could actually make a video on this week. Now we're going to get into the second part of that, which is actually influence surfing. Now the difference between these two is number one, trend surfing is kind of like the conversation, right? Trend surfing is like you inserting your opinion, you talking about your angle, you bringing that conversation piece, kind of that overarching, like trendy thing into your world. Okay. So that's what trend surfing is, but influence surfing is actually a quick way to associate yourself with other people's influence to gain influence, okay? Influence surfing is you associating yourself with someone else's or something else's, I'll explain that, influence to gain influence for yourself, okay? So that's what this, that's what this part is. And that's exactly what Emily Baker did. Emily Baker uh, was a lawyer. Uh, she was an attorney in and she's a, a badass attorney actually, uh, in California. And, um, she was a trial attorney and she wanted change. So she moved her family across the country and she wanted to figure out how she could not have to work 90 hours a week for other people. She wanted to figure out how she could make a living doing what she loved. And she actually started out her YouTube channel. Tell me if you can relate to this. She started out her YouTube channel talking about something she was passionate about, which was tech. But what she was really good about, what she was an expert in, what she had gone to school for, what she loved talking about at dinner parties, what she loved to have conversations about was actually all of the drama that happens in Hollywood with actors and actresses. And not just the drama, but like the legal cases that were happening. And her perspective was, well, I can actually just go live. Hello for people who are like, I don't really want to make edited videos. Emily's entire business is going live pulling up these documents and having a conversation with her community called the law nerds. She, have you watched Emily Baker? She's amazing. She, she brings her personality. She makes it fun. And here's what I love the most too, is her and I talked about this before. And she's like, I show up with my messy bun and no makeup on. And I was like, I love you. You are amazing because she just wants to be her on camera and she doesn't want to always have to be put together and beautiful and all those things, even though she is just the way that she is. Um, she wears a uh, she wears sunglasses or blue light blocking glasses because the, the screen hurts her eyes. So she wears glasses the whole time and she is so fun and makes it great, but she's talking about current cases. She's writing the influence of people like the Kardashians or when the whole Alec Baldwin thing happened, or Britney Spears. I mean, she she loved these types of cases. And so she just started talking about them. She's built an entire community, monetizing it, making more now as a YouTuber than she was as a lawyer because of the power of her community. Now, here's what I love the most. She's not selling anything. She has a group community and she has so much influence now that she's doing brand partnerships where she is making more money than she was as an attorney, riding the influence. Now, Sean did this exact same thing. You remember when Joe Rogan like became Joe Rogan? Not like Joe Rogan before Joe Rogan, but like Joe Rogan now, like the most popular podcaster, like has more influence than a lot of world leaders. I'll just say it that way. Um, Joe Rogan started a video podcast. 
Remember when that happened? It was like this cool new thing where he just had a camera on. It was kind of fly on the wall. The first ones were literally just like one camera shot. And then they started adding different cameras. And then he's like got a new microphone and he's got a whole studio. But like when you look at what he did, he started a video podcast. Well, Sean's expertise is in building out these types of things, building out a YouTube set. set. So he watched a Joe Rogan podcast and he was like people want to know what gear joe rogan has and they also want to know how he's becoming so popular and sean because his spidey senses went off and understood the influence of what joe rogan was doing decided to make a case study video about joe rogan the gear he was using and the formula he was using for how he was able to make these three hour podcasts and then break those up into micro pieces of content and put them on the same channel Are you seeing the power of influence surfing? You could do this exact same thing. This is what Ryan Pineda did. Ryan Pineda is a real estate agent and entrepreneur. And when he started his YouTube channel, he was like, well, I actually don't really like, I believe in what Dave Ramsey says for a certain demographic, but I don't actually think that everyone should follow his advice. And so Ryan did a video reacting and talking about Dave Ramsey's financial, um, uh, uh, financial advice in his own videos, he was influence surfing. He was grabbing a hold of the incredible influence that Dave Ramsey has built, and he was inserting his videos into that mix. And here's what's crazy: if someone's going to watch one video about is Dave Ramsey, um, it, it, is Dave Ramsey advice good? Maybe that's what they type into the into the search bar. They watch one video, but then Ryan also has two other videos that they could watch. His ability to be suggested as the next video just skyrocketed. Are you seeing the power of writing the influence? This happened to not even just with other people's influence. So not just Joe Rogan and uh, and uh, Britney Spears. And um, can I put all them together? Joe Rogan, Britney Spears, and uh, Dave Ramsey. Is that okay? Can we can we do that? Yes. Okay. Good. Um, you can write the influence of brands and companies. You know what a big influencer in the fast food space is? Burger King. The influence of not even just Burger King, but the Big Mac. I mean, the Big Mac gets its own commercials. Uh, Can you think about this? A hamburger in America has its own commercial during the Super Bowl. What are we even doing? (laughs) Okay. But that is riding the influence of a brand, of a company of a thing. And so that's exactly what Cowboy Kent Rollins did. Cowboy Kent does, he does ranch style cooking, right? Guys, he uses his smartphone, by the way. Just want you to know, this does not have to get fancy. He uses his smartphone and he decided to do a video on the Cowboy style Big Mac. He just made a Big Mac at home. Are you seeing how simple this is? Heather, What video do I make that's going to make me a million dollars? Heather, what video do I make that's going to skyrocket me through the thing? You make videos that are interesting, that people are searching for, and that can ride the influence and trend surfing in your space. This does not have to be hard. He made a video about the Big Mac, okay? So what influencers, brands, and companies could you be writing the influence on? What influence? Oh, did I, did I do that wrong? Is the Big Mac McDonald's? Wow. I, I hope I got that right. And now I'm now, now I'm nervous. Tell me, is it McDonald's or is it, you can tell I don't eat fast food. Is the Big Mac Burger King or McDonald's? Help me out here. Help me out here. Okay. Um, influence brands and companies. Okay. You can tell I don't eat fast food. I'm so sorry. Uh, But you get the idea of what I'm talking about. It's McDonald's. Oh my gosh. The Whopper is Burger King. Wow. Should I just end this whole session right now? Hey, thanks fam right there. You all obviously understand I don't read or I I don't eat. um, (laughs) I don't eat it. Ah, it's the Whopper. Okay. But you know what he did guys? He made a Big Mac. He made a Big Mac. That's where I'm going with that. All right. So what can you ride the wave of influence? How can you ride the wave of influence? How can you ride the wave of influence? Thank you so much, guys. Oh, I love your guys' support. You're so sweet. Look at that. Heather can mess up in real time and not actually understand what is happening in the fast food world, but you can get a million views. I Okay. Not even a million views. Guys, you see how many views this is? 6.5 million views. 
I can't even right now. Okay. So you've now learned the, uh, the six different strategies, the ASQ method, answer specific questions, teach specific skills, review specific products, uh, uh, teach I said that twice. Now I'm all, now I'm messing up myself up. Okay. Trend surfing method and the influence method, but here's what I need you to do. I need you to make a plan. I need you to make a plan. Okay. I need you to make a plan. We want to make your YouTube simple plan, your simple YouTube success plan. Okay. And here's what you got to do. You got to write down what are five to 10 of the best video ideas that you could be making right now. Just write them out. Just, just grab a piece of paper, just do what you can and write them out. You can totally do this. Okay. Write those out because now we've gone through it. We've done ASQ. We've done TSS. We've done RSP. We've done influence surfing and trend surfing. So you have these different ones that you could actually be doing. Okay. Um, and then you want to commit to posting one video per week. There's your simple plan. That's all you got to do. You need to just write out the video ideas figure out which ones you want to make and commit to posting one video a week. And I want to share with you really quick, the power of going all in on YouTube, the power of actually deciding to do those things, the, the power to actually decide to not only just write down your best ideas, but to actually commit to posting one video per week. And I saw people that were like, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to post, you know, six videos in the next week. I'm like, okay, you, you can do that. But like, this is a marathon, not a sprint. This is, this is a long game play, not a short sprint. Okay. And when here's the power of going all in on YouTube and every single one of these faces that you see here, they all started where you're starting. They all started from zero. They all started kind of a little confused. They all started by just picking up the equipment they had, the phone they had, the device they had, and just going all in. And there's usually like this time where you decide like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm making YouTube videos. There's a decide, there's a time when you go from making YouTube videos to committing to this path, right? There, there has to be a shift between those. Like I remember when I decided to lose 70 pounds, there was a moment where I had to go from, yeah, I kind of eat right to like, no, I'm going to be healthy. And I claimed it. I, I, I am a healthy eater. I am a healthy mother. That's different than like just not eating dessert that night, right? Like there's a difference between those. And every single one of our students has had to make this commitment. Every one of our success students, let me say, has had to make this commitment. And I want to share with you just a case study um, that, that happened just this last couple of weeks and, and just the power of going all in on YouTube. And I'll show you the monetary side of it. And then I want to show you what the opportunity can, can happen from there. This is Erica Kohlberg. I mentioned her earlier. And I wanted to share with you, she just did a video. She started Messy Friends. She just started making videos. She was working like 80 hours a week. So she had no time to do this either. And she just started making videos, okay? And she just made a viral video that said how much social media has paid her. And this was just in one year of how much social, social media itself has paid her. And why I want you to go all in on YouTube, okay? Committing to going all in on YouTube. I'm fine with all the other social media platforms being a secondary thing. And here's why. Because this can actually change your life. This can really change your life. She did an honest review of the millions of views that she's been able to get. And when I say millions, I think her TikTok had over 500 million views. That is a lot of views. But let me show you just the monetary ways that this changed her life. This is what YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and Facebook paid her in the same amount of time. And can I tell you that her YouTube channel has the least amount of subscribers? Her YouTube channel actually has the least amount of views, but look at the difference and the unlock that happened in her life in one year. In one year, this is the unlock that happened in her life. What would it do for you with an extra $196,000? She's not talking about anything crazy. She's literally just helping people, serving people at a higher level, but that's not even the only thing. She's actually now been able to create her own law firm and helping entrepreneurs She's selling online courses. So she's stacking her income in these ways. She's doing six figure brand partnerships. She's got her own influencer brand agency that she partnered with. So she's helping other people in her space. She's doing affiliate marketing. She's been featured on some of the largest uh, um, brands. She's speaking and coaching and she's traveling the world. These are just a few things that can happen when you go all in on YouTube. 
This actually just came in today. Uh, this is one of our, Sean shared a little bit about Ryan um, earlier. Ryan has been going through a health journey and he's been documenting it. And he wanted to be a stay at home dad. That's like his, he wanted to be at home. He wanted to be a part of his kids' lives. And he wanted to help other people understand that when they take their health seriously, they can make big changes. And so he just started making content with his phone. And he sent us this message literally today. He said, about 10 days away from hitting 100,000 subscribers. I just put in my notice at work. Guys, he's going to be a full-time content creator. He just put in his notice at work. Glad to be one of your 10,000 VRA students. Sorry. To make a full-time living. He changed his life, guys. And you can do that too. He's no one special. He doesn't have connections. He wasn't in top level masterminds and traveling the world to, you know, like, like he, he, he's a normal guy and he changed his life because he decided to go all in on YouTube. Here's the thing. The most powerful way to build an audience on YouTube and stand out is to commit. It's to commit to this. It's to commit to the foundation of making this good. The commitment is the foundation to great accomplishments. He just posted a video every week. And then he and then he was able to make enough that he hired an editor. And then he was able to make enough that he decided to make more videos. And he just committed to the process of making this happen. But I, I want to share with you something that changed our world when it comes to creating content. And this came from a really great book I, I highly recommend. It's called Start With Why. And it's by Simon Sinek. And, and here's what I want you to think about. It's not just about the what you do. What do you do? Well, I make YouTube videos. Is that really what you do? Is that really what you're committing to? Is that really the commitment you want to have is just to making YouTube videos? I want you to shift that because here's what, here's a great perspective to have when it comes to stepping in and going all in and building an audience and building a lifestyle and building freedom into what you can do. Commit to serving others. What do you do? I serve others well. I serve this audience well. I serve a community. And how do I do that? I show up every single week for them. When you start showing up for others and not making it about you, what do I need to do? I need to make a video. No, what do I need to do? I want to make a video for them. I want to make a video to serve them. When you start to shift that, you, you have no idea what the possibilities can be. This is what I had to go through. I remember being so scared to get on camera. I remember being the girl who, who felt no self-confidence, who didn't know if this was right for me, who didn't know if I could do this, right? Like, can I do this? Can I be an influencer too? Can I make change in people's lives? And when I shifted from just getting over myself and stepping out in fear and stepping out of my comfort zone and just saying, no, I want to serve the mom who doesn't live a Pinterest life. I want to serve the homeschool mom who's also trying to build a business. I want to serve the homeschool mom who's walking through postpartum depression, who has had failed things happen in her marriage. I want to help the homeschool mom who doesn't like glue or glitter. I want to help her. And when I shifted to helping other people, friends, this YouTube channel that I do periodically has helped almost a million families. Why? Because I committed to my what being serving others. How? How do you do it? How do you do it? I think you do it by being different. I think you figure out what makes you, you. I think you figure out the experiences and the things that you only know. I only knew how to homeschool my two littles. I only knew what it felt like to walk through postpartum depression and try and get healthy and try and build a business and downsize our family. And I only knew those things. And so I brought that into the how. How was I going to do it? Well, I was going to make videos and just share what it was. I was going to make videos and not put makeup on. I was going to make videos and just be the regular kind of mom. How? How do you do it? How are you different? What experiences have you had? What beliefs do you have? What, what challenges have you walked through? How are you different? You know, I thought it was interesting inside of just our VIP group alone. We have several people that are in the hunting space. And I'm like, I, I, I want to subscribe to all of you because one of you is doing hunting from a man's perspective that does this. And he's also into real estate and he's also, um, 
He's also building a, a company separately. One of us doing it from a, a husband and wife who are, who are living out on a, a farm. Like both are great, but how are you different? How are you going to show up for your audience? And I remember that was just all I had to do. I just had to show up. I had to just set the camera up. I had to just grab my smartphone and start making content. But really, here's what it comes down to. When it talks about commitment is the foundation of all achievements. Here's really what it comes down to. Your why. Why are you doing it? Why do you even want to go through the struggle of making this happen? Why do you want to be the person that climbs out of $200,000 worth of debt like Erica? Why do you want to be the person that shares your intimate uh, weight loss journey like Ryan did? Why do you want to be the person who grabs a camera over and over and over and shares how to make this thing work like Sean does? Why? Why do you want to do that? You've got to commit to your reasons. You've got to commit to why you actually want to do this. And when you can start with your why and you understand that it's not just about creating a YouTube video, it's not about just, you know, it's not about the views and the subscribers. It's about making actual change in this world. Why do you want to do it? Do you want freedom in your lifestyle? Why do you want to do it? Do you want to make your own schedule? Why do you want to do it? Do you want to be the person that tells your kids they can do anything and be anything and not live that out yourself? Friend, this is possible. You just have to start messy. You just have to start scared. You just have to start knowing that it may not look the way you want it to look. And it may not be everything you want it to be when you start, but as you commit to this, as you go all in on YouTube, you can make change in your world. You just have to start messy. I started messy. This is one of my first videos. It's blurry. I don't have any makeup on. I'm like, what is happening with my eyebrows? I'm standing in front of the, the, <laughs> the window because I remember Sean making a video saying, don't put your head, don't put the camera in front of the window or behind the window, put the camera in front of the window. So I'm just standing there and I'm not even looking the right way. It's only half the light is coming in. Are you seeing this? You got to just start messy. You have to be committing to serving other people. You have to be committed to being different. And when you can do that, anything is possible. When you can do that, everything is possible. When you can do that, you could be the change in someone's life. The reason I got emotional all of a sudden reading that about Ryan was like, guys, he changed his life for making YouTube videos. This is possible. It was possible for uh, uh, it was possible for Dr. Andrea. It was possible for, um, Nicole. It was possible for Dr. Eye Health. It can be possible for you as well, but you've got to commit to the foundation first because committing to the foundation of making a video a week, committing to the foundation of serving others well is where breakthrough can happen. That's where your accomplishments can happen. And I know that I could go on and on and on about this, but friend, we are just hitting the top of the iceberg. Literally, like what we've been able to cover in these four days in these five sessions is just the tip of the iceberg. We've not even been able to go into like how to set up your channel right, the confidence on camera, the other viral techniques, more money-making strategies from students who are having success, thumbnail best practices. Sean did a two-minute thumbnail. We've got an entire part that's all about strategy and thumbnail. And so I just need to ask you, from me to you, looking directly into this camera, I need to ask you, are you ready to commit to your YouTube journey? Are you ready to go all in? Are you ready to invest in yourself so that you can see change happen? I believe that where there is a uh, transaction, there is transformation. I believe when you pay for something, you pay attention. Why is that? Why is that? Because we put value in where we put our finances. And so I'm going to ask you to commit to yourself. I'm going to ask you that even if your palms are sweaty and even if you, you, your heart might be racing, even if you've never invested in yourself, because here's why you've never believed it was possible for you. It's possible for you. You have to be your first cheerleader. You have to believe it for yourself first. And then guess what? The Think Media team 
We're going to wrap our arms around you. We're going to support you on this journey. We're going to be a part of your success, sharing you on one of our challenges, just like we did Ryan, just like we did Pace, just like we did uh, Nicole, just like we did um, Dr. Andrea. We could share your story of how you changed your life through the power of YouTube. So I'm going to ask you, if you know that's you, then it's time for you to join. It's time for you to be a part of our bigger mission. It's time for you to be one of our 10,000. Just like Ryan, just like Dr. Andrea, just like every other success student from all around the world, speaking all different languages in all different niches that have taken what they've learned through the power of our 7R framework, applied it to their niche, served their audience well, came to it with full commitment, through the doubts, through the struggles, through all of the pieces and said, no, I'm doing this thing. I'm going all in. I'm going to be the change maker in my family. I'm going to be the one that steps out and says, I can do this because here's what's going to happen a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, you could have taken this free challenge. You could have written all the notes. You could have thought you were going to do it and didn't apply anything. But for those of you who know that it's you, I'm talking right to you. You and I, we're having, like right now, you know, this is me, Heather, this is me. Then you need to join us in this free bundle, in this bundle, in this, in this full bundle. You need to join us for all the free bonuses. You need to join us so that you can start making change as 2023 happens. Friends, the world is changing. Online is changing. And you've got to set yourself up for success and not depend on one income, not depend on your employer. You need to have freedom for where you want to take your family, for what you want to do. So I hope that today's session was helpful. I hope that you are getting aha moments. I hope that you're ready to step up and join us inside of this YouTube bundle. I hope that we're your people. I do. I hope that we're your people, that you've trusted us enough through these last four days to say, you know what? I see what they're what they're doing. I see what the Think Media team is about. I see their heart. I see how they love people. I see how they want what's best for people. And if that's you, I'm going to ask you to join. I'm going to say you need to join right now because we want to see change happen in your life next. So go ahead and share your aha moments uh, that are here for you. I'm going to bring Melissa back on. We're going to get into some additional uh, details for what you need to do today. And Melissa, take it away. Wow, Heather, thank you so much for that session. Um, You can't start crying on stream because I'm just back here trying to hold it together. Um, Yes, we do love our students so much. And I just wanted to highlight some of your guys' comments here. 100% committed. Um, Nope, make it 101%. Absolutely. After that stream from Heather, it's 101% committed. Um, Tatia is saying, I'm committed. We have, I'm crying. And we have Shelton saying, I'm more than ready. I'm committed and invested for this to succeed. Maria saying I'm all in. It really is possible. Ty saying getting so motivated by this. Keep up convicting and changing lives. Heather, um, Jesus saying I'm ready. We have, oh my gosh, just so many of you guys. Um, If you are all in, then say all in in the chat right now. Um, just like these students here. So store it for me. This is the most motivational session all week. Yes, it was so good. And I just love this from Jared. Um, I'll say it again. I love how much you guys love your students. It shows in ways that it just doesn't with other channels. So um, thank you, Jared, because we truly do. And you can tell that um, both Sean and Heather pour themselves out in these sessions because they care so much about your success. And we're going to keep doing it um, for the next few sessions that we have on this channel. And then of course, after that, um, we love pouring into our video rank Academy group into every YouTube video we create, et cetera. So thank you all so much for being here with this session. Um, I'm going to pull up our daily challenge for today. Yes, Caroline. Oh, I love it. Um, it is possible for you. All right. Our daily challenge for today. Um, if you are, already on this, then fantastic. You might get a shout out right now. Um, You can find this inside of the guides tab here in Facebook. We always organize them in there, or you can find it in the main feed um, of your group. So today's challenge, what is one trend happening in your niche? What video can you make within that trend? And a bonus as always, if you tell us when you are posting that video. So 
Uh, let's go through a couple here. I saw some really cool ones. I saw um, Kirsten here with end of the theme park season in the UK. So plenty of trending topics around Halloween and fireworks celebrations. Um, I know if you're doing theme park content here in the US, um, one of our team members, Jeffrey, has gone to like like every theme park in his area in LA and has done every single like Halloween celebration. So that would be a super cool series to do if, if you're doing um, content on that. Um, Marianne is planning getting ready for 2023. Yes, this is the time to start getting that content ready. Hey, Zeus saying um, the video trend of how to be prepared for snow. Really good. Now, how to be prepared for snow when you don't have a car. Awesome. So um, thank you guys so much for everyone who's already. We have, uh, I'm sure, well over that amount of people who have already posted. So keep uh, posting. Keep, being, keep up with these daily challenges because on Monday, we have a big party that we do. And so if you haven't already marked it on your calendars, then mark it now. It is in the events tab here. You can see it everything all lined up for you here. And so on Monday, I'm just putting on your radar now, if we, if you haven't heard about it yet, we have a big party. And one of the things we do to celebrate is we um, pull people's posts that have been posting on the daily challenges and we give you a bunch of stuff. We're going to be giving away tech, more subscriptions, um, and just tons of really fun things. So all of that is going to be happening for people who are posting on these daily challenges. So not only is it just awesome for you because you get to um, keep yourself engaged and working towards these improvements on your channel, but we like to motivate you a little bit extra by giving you some stuff away. And then we're also, we like review them and we give you critiques. So it's just a really fun time, cool opportunity. So you definitely want to keep up with those daily challenges. And we have two things happening after this session. Actually, we have three things happening after this session. Um, if you haven't already put it on your calendar, put this on there as well. We have another session happening today. So this is just our first session of the day. I'm actually going to pull up my events tab here again to show you guys this. Um, we have session six of our, of our challenges happening at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Actually be there at 3.50 p.m. Pacific time for more giveaways. You can check what that is in your local time by just going to the events tab and checking um, what that time is for you. But we're going to be here learning seven ways to make your first $1,000. So we're going to be talking through, oh, I think I'm actually not even sharing my screen in my Here we go. It's in your events tab, <laughs> session six. Um, in your events tab, you can check your local time zone there. Um, we're going to be sharing seven ways to make your first $1,000 on YouTube. Lots of really creative ideas, um, but also just like some of the most solid tried and true ideas um, for making money on YouTube. So you definitely won't want to miss that. And we're bringing in some of um, some people from different niches as well. So for all of you who are asking, like, how does this work in my niche? You're going to be hearing from people in, in unique, unique <laughs> niches um, this afternoon. So I hope to see you for that second session of the day. Um, but immediately following this, so when we close down this stream in just a few minutes, we have two things happening. One, our VIP members are going to get to head over to their VIP Q&A that's inside of their exclusive Zoom room. If you have questions about today's session or questions about um, the bundle, then we can answer all of those within your VIP Q&A. And then we also have what we call an office hours available on Zoom for people who want to ask questions about the bundle. So those questions, you can get them answered. Um, it's going to start about 1130. They probably will start basically once this closes down, but you guys can head over there to that um, Zoom room. There's posts inside of the group with that information for you. And we are going to be answering your questions specifically about the bundle. So just again, this isn't going to be um, a YouTube coaching session, but we'll be able to help those questions and help you decide if the bundle is the right move for you. So we'd love to see you in there as well. Two, diff two different Zoom rooms open. Um, we're going to see our VIP members over in that Zoom room shortly. And with that, I think we're ready to close off for today. We'll see you um, in one of those Zoom rooms. And we'll also see you later today for our second session of the day. We'll see you guys then.